Welcome to 2020 Visionaries. I'm Lori Siegel. I'm standing in the Media Lab at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It's a breeding ground for some of the biggest ideas from some of the brightest minds in the world, like GPS and 3D printing, both pioneered at MIT. So what's next? You're about to meet six brilliant innovators who believe their inventions and creations will transform the world by 2020. From chemistry to computer science, from architecture to artificial intelligence, these visionaries are involved in groundbreaking work that will leave a mark on the world. Sham Gulakota is a computer scientist. He earned his master's degree and PhD at MIT, and today he's an assistant professor at the University of Washington, where he leads the school's networks and mobile systems lab. I work on designing technology that can power and provide internet connectivity for the next billion devices. We invented this new technology called Ambient Backscatter that enables devices to communicate with each other without requiring any batteries. So the way this actually works is that it harvests small amounts of power from signals all around us, including TV and Wi-Fi transmissions. More importantly, it enables devices to communicate with each other by either reflecting or absorbing these ambient signals. We're talking about communication almost for free. You don't really consume any power to do this communication. So this technology, I believe, could be the basis for providing power and connectivity for the devices of the future. So uh, honestly, I didn't really know that it was possible in the first place. <laughs> it's not, I didn't know that it was possible to just use TV signals and just reflect them and communicate between devices. And the first time we actually got it working, I was like, this is incredible. What we are saying is that we need to just rethink how we actually are doing communication. To this end, we have created a startup. It's called Jiva Wireless with all my colleagues. The goal of the startup is to ensure that this chips which we are going to be creating would go into every device. So everything we have can start communicating. Sheets of paper can start communicating. You're, you can actually put like sticky pads on your fridge or wherever, refrigerators, and they can actually start communicating with your Wi-Fi router. So you can think about a world where everything and every device and everyone can now start communicating. That can create a completely new world. That's my vision for 2020. From computer science to computer research. Our next two visionaries are masters in the field of artificial intelligence. You'll find them both on MIT Technology Review's list of innovators under 35. They're teaching computers and other devices to think for themselves and make decisions based on data. It's a form of AI called deep learning. Quok Lei is one of the founding members of Google Brain. It's a deep learning research project at Google that made headlines a few years ago when it created an artificial neural network that mimicked the human brain and trained itself to recognize cats. I work on artificial intelligence, which means I try to get machines to think. Uh, since I was young, like 14, 15, when I was in Vietnam, I was inspired by our ability to learn and our ability to think as humans. So I started working on machine learning. In the next few years, uh, I think you, we will see big advances. Uh, machines will be able to see better, hear much better. Uh, it will understand our uh, language better. So it will be able to talk and communicate and have a conversation better. I think about healthcare. I think about climate change and I think about education. If we can get machines better at these things, I truly think that artificial intelligence can solve some of the world's biggest problems. That's my vision for 2020. Yunji Chen also works on deep learning. His goal is to make it more useful to us in our everyday lives. He's a professor at the Institute of Computing Technology in Beijing and describes himself as a computer architect. My daily work is designing dedicated intelligent processing units, just like a brain on the silicon. The current computer brain is a very simplified version of human brain. We will put neurons and synapses as the basic building blocks for the chip. It's feasible for computers to understand human emotions. Computers can treat this problem as a classification problem. They have plenty of tools to solve this problem, especially deep learning. What I am doing is to put supercomputer into a smartphone. Besides phone, robots with intelligence will work in every people's house. At the current stage, the smartphone is not smart. 
is totally not smart. The smartphone is just a, a small computer which can run applications. The smartphone itself cannot understand what we are saying, cannot say, understand what it's uh, seeing, and uh, cannot understand words. So when, when it meets some, any problem, it, will, it must send uh, uh, information onto the cloud servers to, to ask for the help of cloud servers. With the continuous development of computer brain, we will solve this gap. That's my vision for 2020. Coming up next, three more visionaries share their 2020 vision of the world by the end of this decade.